last class field and fences we started we did few questions and one worksheet also i shared in the last class field and fences one worksheet shared that also you are supposed to complete in two days almost a week over i got only some nine to ten responses for that i shared one worksheet on field and fences very easy just add all the sites that will be the answer some of all the sites will be the perimeter it's a very easy question all these questions were done in the last class this is also done yeah next coming to next slide or next question when a rectangle is given how to find the perimeter of the rectangle no wait i will tell you i will tell you suppose there is a rectangle this is the length this is the breadth length is just listen 5 cm this is 3 cm what is the perimeter if this question is asked what will be your answer in a rectangle opposite sides will be equal when this is 5 cm this is also 5 cm when this is 3 cm this is also 3 cm sir is the answer 16 Sir. Perimeter of rectangle. I said keep white. Perimeter of a rectangle is sum of all sides. Five plus three plus five plus three. So that will be sixteen centimeters. Sir, I write. I said not to write. I will tell you. Keep on asking the same questions. So when you want to find the perimeter of a rectangle, what you are doing? You are adding all the sides and giving the answer. now for example this what will be the perimeter of this what will be the perimeter of this don't try it i will tell you 12 cm 5 cm then this will be 12 this will be 5 perimeter means sum of all sides 12 plus 5 12 plus 5 which gives 34 cm okay now my question is when a rectangle is given is it always we have to add all the four sides to give the answer any other easy method is there yes sir can you tell me what is the easy method sir first we should Uh, first we should multiply the number into two, like five centimeter into into two is ten centimeter. So ten centimeter and twelve centimeters. Ah, uh, twelve twelve centimeters. Twelve centimeter plus twelve centimeter is ah twenty four. Twenty four centimeters. So okay. we should just add the twenty four centimeters. And the ten centimeters. Okay. So length. This also equal to the length. Breadth. This also equal to breadth. Length repeated two times. Breadth repeated two times. So instead of adding all four, add only these two. Add only length and breadth. Add only length and breadth. Again, length and breadth. I am going to get instead of adding it, double it. So this is the formula: two into length plus breadth. Instead of adding all four sides again and again, you can do directly. Yeah. Look at this. when calculating the perimeter of rectangle do we need to measure all the sides is regularly what we are doing adding all the sides is it necessary to do this no not necessary 2 into a plus b or l plus b a means this b means this if it is a a if it is l l so two adjacent sides add and multiply with 2 2 into length plus breadth 
you can do this easily you will get the answer so whenever a rectangle is given instead of adding everything you can do it easily so for this question if i do in this method 2 into what is length and what is breadth here 12 centimeter plus 5 centimeters 12 plus 5 is 17 17 to ja 34 centimeter okay so when a rectangle is given adding all four sides you can do already you know the method we did many problems in the last class that is anyhow already there instead of that if you want to do in an easy way yes there is a formula 2 into length plus breadth okay so take this question find the area using formula find the perimeter find the perimeter by formula okay find the perimeter by formula diagram is here 12 5 12 5 formula is 2 into l plus b Two into length plus breadth. This is the formula. So two into twelve plus five that is thirty four. Find the perimeter not directly just by using the formula. Sir, we will write. Yes, you have to write now. I said write this. Write the question. Find the perimeter by formula. What is the formula? Formula I wrote here. 2 into length plus breadth. Avilash, your camera is off. Kaneshwar, your camera is off. Ritvik Balaji, your camera is off. Dinesh, your camera is off. Switch on your cameras. Harshika Reddy, your camera is off. Harshika Reddy, why the camera was off? So we are finding the perimeter of rectangle using the formula 2 into length plus breadth. Adding sum of all sides, you can do it. That, that method is already there. We are giving one easy method. Instead of rectangle, suppose a square is given. Then also, is there any easy method? Yes, sir. Suppose yes, a square yes, is given. A square is yes, given. 
3 centimeters. Then 4 into 1 side of a square. Very good, very good. Who said? Aditya Paman, sir. Very good, very good. There is a square with the side 3 centimeter, 3 centimeter. If we are asked to find the perimeter, our method is sum of all sides 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, adding 4 times 3. Adding 4 times 3 is nothing but 4 into 3. Adding 3, 3, 3, 4 times is 4 into 3. What is this 3? Side. So that will be 12 centimeters. So when a square is given, instead of adding all four sides, you can write 4 into sine as a formula for perimeter. So rectangle, one easy method is there. Similarly, for square also, one easy method is there. 4 into side. If you know one side, that is enough. See, 4 into side is the formula that can be used. Okay, one problem I have given there, sum of all four sides, with that also you will get the method, you will get the answer. If you do like this, then also you will get the same answer, 4 into 3. So, next time you can do, you can use this formula and do the problems in less time. The formula will save the time. So, try the second one. Perimeter of a square using formula. Perimeter using formula. <coughs> Somebody is talking in the background, please. So we have to write it. Yes. Now, using these methods, you can try this. This you have to try square Sir? problems. I'm doing now. Sir. Can I tell the answer of first one? What answer you want to tell? Yes, sir. Okay, please proceed. Sir, five four five five centimeter into four is equals to twenty centimeter, sir. Yes, very good. Sorry. Twenty Can centimeter is the answer. Is equals to. Square is given. You have to find the perimeter of the square. Please mute yourself. Somebody is talking in the background. Parents, please. Sir? Whenever a square is given, perimeter means just multiply with 4. You can add the number 4 times or multiply with 4. Everything is same. First to 2, I tried here. Second one is 4 into 10, 40 centimeter.
sir yes can you tell the answer of third one please sir third one answer is 30 into 4 is equals to uh, 120. One, 120 centimeters sir yes, 120, 120 is the right answer Reshwan, your camera is off. Harshika Reddy, your camera is off. Just now I warned Harshika Reddy. Again, why your camera is off? Sir, I, I doubt. I have doubt, sir. Which one you have a doubt? Second, sir. Ah, what is the doubt? Square of side 10 centimeters. Yeah. 10 centimeters is equal to 10 centi 40 centimeters, sir. Yes, 40. 4 into 10. 10. 40 is the answer. Okay, sir. Perimeter of a square of is 4 into side. side 5 centimeters. Two into length plus breadth is the perimeter of a rectangle. Two into L plus B is the formula for perimeter of a rectangle. Eighteen. Sir, fourth answer is eighteen. Sir, eighteen, sir. Length is given as five centimeters. Breadth is given as four centimeters. Sir, eighteen. Two into L plus B. Two into nine. Eighteen centimeter. Units are must. Sir, fifth one, 34 centimeters, sir. That is the right one. 34 centimeters. is the right answer. Very good. Who said? M. Darwin, sir. Huh? Who sir, said? sixth one is 260, sir. 260 centimeters. 260 meter is ah, the answer of 260 meter. Sir, second meter. one is 260. Sir, second one is 260. Length and breadth both are given. You have to add all the sides. That means 2 into L plus B formula is also there. Meters. Sir, will you share the PDF? Yes, yes, definitely. Two sixty meters is the answer. Three problems on square, three problems on rectangle are given here. Please do it carefully. Every time you have to write the formula, don't do directly. Please write the formula and do it. Charanchari, your camera is off. Trishank, 
your camera was off. Veda Zareen, camera off. Manas Kumar, your camera is off. Ganeshwar, your camera is off. Thank you. If these problems are done, shall I go to the next slide? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Make it fast. Okay, okay. Make it fast. We have to write this. You have to write. What is the question you are asking now? After doing all, huh? what question you are asking? All are doing, giving answers. I am responding very well. Now you are start asking. Sir, move, sir. Okay, move, move. Okay, okay, okay. All these questions you can do on your own. I want you to do on your own. If you are not getting I wrote answers along with formula. Please copy this. Students, please mute yourself. Please mute. Sir, over. Okay, okay. Wait, some students still are copying this. Oh, sir. Okay, sir. You better sir, write the formula in each and every question. Though you know the formula, if you write the formula in each and every question, that will give the revision of the formula. So I need everyone should write the formula in all the problems. 2 into length plus breadth. You can find the area of rectangle by the normal method sum of all four sides. Instead of that, the easy method is using formula. So length and breadth are given. When you complete the answer, don't forget to give the units. In mathematics, generally people will forget giving units at the end. They are very busy in doing this after getting so you they feel happy. But don't forget, answer is not completed without units. Perimeter means always centimeters. If it is in meters, it is in meters. When we talk about area, it is square centimeter. Of course, area we are going to do after this. First, let me do the problems on perimeter. When square means 4 into side is the formula, easy method. Sum of all sides is already there. When rectangle is given, 2 into length plus breadth. So that is the easy method. Sum of all four sides, you can do any time. That is already there. If you want to find the perimeter in less time or easily, you can use the formula. I have explained how the formula we got in the last slide you have seen. If copying is done, shall I move to the next slide? Yes, sir. Yes, All students copy this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Look at this question. Look at this. Parapilism. There is a square. Three, three. Wait, I will tell you. Sir, so this is right, sir. What is your doubt? This uh, right in notebook, sir. I will tell you, wait. Same question always were asking. Okay, sir. In this question, there is a square 3 centimeter side. What is the perimeter of the square? Perimeter means sum of all four sides. Or you can use the formula 4 into side. Sir. 12 centimeter sir. you are getting. Now, in the corner, in the corner, one centimeter square is removed. Here. 
who is the parent talking there? Answer thirteen centimeters. So why don't you mute yourself? Keep on talking, parents. Students, please ask your parents not to talk. Sir. No, you better to mute all. That is the only thing I can do. What a disturbance! Students, you should have a minimum common sense to maintain silence. Mute yourself. If somebody is talking in your home, ask them not to talk, not to disturb during the class times. You have in a day you have only two periods of classes. Only two hours. Ask your parents to keep quiet when you are in the class. Your parents are not listening to you. Then mute yourself. Otherwise, don't come to my class, please. Perimeter of the square. Sum of all four sides, twelve centimeter. We got the answer. What is happening in the corner? One square centimeter box is removed. That means this portion is empty. So one centimeter is this. This is one centimeter. What about the remaining? Three centimeter. So it will be three centimeter. This is three centimeters. It will be three centimeters. Other side, out of three centimeter, one centimeter is removed. So balance will be two centimeters. Here three centimeters. One centimeter removed. Balance will be two centimeters. Out of three, here one centimeter box is removed. So one centimeter removed, balance is two. One is removed, balance is two. But this empty portion will be there, which is one and one. Now, what is the question? What is the perimeter of the second shape? If the name is B, if the name is B for this, if it is A, perimeter of A we got twelve centimeters. What about perimeter of this? Perimeter of any shape is sum of all four sides. Let me add three plus two plus one. All boundary. You add add everything. One plus one plus two plus three. What is this? Twelve centimeter. Surprisingly, both are equal. The question is which is having more boundary? Both are having. Same perimeter. This is the answer for this. Okay. Now copy the question. Please write the question. Please write the question. If you have any doubts, you can ask. You unmute yourself. Pause. Then mute. Okay. Mute is removed. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Two boxes are mentioned here. One is full box. One is corner removed. He is the question is find the perimeter of both. Identify which is having more perimeter. Luckily, both are having same perimeter. Complete the answer. So that one centimeter is removed, right? How it will be like the same? No, if if it is removed, no need to be same always. Here, luckily, it is same. The next two question, it will not be same. Here, it is becoming same. It is not always it is same. Sometimes it will be same. Sometimes it will be different. How different? The next two question will tell you. In okay. this question, we got equal. Otherwise, it is not always possible. Here it is equal. When this portion is removed, still this line, this line are there. That is becoming equal. Here only it is equal. Not always. Here, luckily they are equal, but not always. Mm -hmm. 
Sir, in second question, what is after perimeter? Perimeter of B. Okay, sir. Perimeter of A, perimeter of B. Same perimeter. What happened? Over, sir. If all completed, yes, sir. Go to the next one. Yes, sir. Over, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Over, look sir. At, look at this. What is the perimeter of the shape A and shape C? Sir, please wait one. Instead of corner, if one centimeter box removed in the middle, then what happens? Then what happens? Let sir, us then C one is the biggest, sir. Let us see. Let us see. You want about C? Let us see. Three, three, three. Same. Here, one centimeter is removed. Then out of three, one is removed. So here one, here one. Since it is removed, you are getting a cavity there. Since it is removed, you are getting a depression there. So one centimeter is removed. One, one, one. One centimeter is removed. So it is one, one, one. Perimeter. Three plus three plus three. One. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. One, 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 one. Complete boundary. Perimeter means complete boundary. Sir, 14, sir. Sir, 14 centimeters, sir. 14, sir. 14, sir. 14, 14, sir. 14, sir. 14 centimeters. 14 centimeters is the right answer. Already I gave the answer there on the board. So it is 14. Perimeter of A, we know already. Perimeter of C is that 1, 1, 1, 1 is there. No, that is 14. Sir, 14. Harshika Reddy, your video is off again. Harshika Reddy, how many times I have to tell you? Huh? Why again, again? Why your camera? Why your camera is off? Don't force me to remove from the class. Dinesh, Rishika, Harikirtana, switch on your cameras. Perimeter of C is more when compared to A.
Completed? Oh, yes, yes, sir. Over, sir. Over, sir. Yes, sir. Over, 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 sir. Now, whatever shapes we have seen, triangle, rectangle, square, or last class pentagon all these shapes all these shapes what we have seen they are having sides as lines lines when lines are there adding sum of all sides is giving perimeter suppose if they are not regular shapes if they are curves if they are curves how to find the area how to find the perimeter or how to find the area when they are not regular shapes. Sir, if they are curved, we can find by, uh, make, by degree, sir. You have to find the perimeter using thread. You have to find the perimeter using thread. Suppose this is the shape. This is not like this, where we can find easily. Then how to find this? This is not a regular shape. Then how to find this? You have to take a thread. Take a thread. Keep the thread here. And adjust the thread along the boundary. Sir, we have to write this. Sir, listen. Listen, when I am talking, listen. You will be given chance to express your doubts once I complete. Don't disturb me. Take a thread, put somewhere on the boundary, adjust the thread along the boundary. Along the boundary. And where you started, please get the thread there and close. Now, cut the thread. The thread is kept here and again, it is here. Now take the thread, take the thread. Now when thread is opened like this, you can find the length of the thread using a tape or scale. Perimeter means boundary. The thread is measured the boundary. So whatever the boundary is the perimeter. So put the thread along the boundary, then find the length of the thread that will give the boundary of the shapes. Here four different shapes are there. I am going to share this. Paste in your test notebook. Take a thread. Take a thread and put on the boundary. You have to keep the thread on the boundary. Don't deviate. Don't get the thread like this. Keep the thread on the boundary and find the length of the thread. I want to know the answers. Okay. So this slide I am going to share with you. Take the printout or you can copy this. Or if you want, you can draw any shape of your choice. If there is no facility of going out, taking print out, don't, don't waste your time and money. Take a white paper, draw any shape, your choice. It should not be like this. Any shape, jigjog shape. Any shape you draw, put the thread along the boundary. Put the thread, find the length of the boundary and let me know. That is the activity I'm giving as the homework. The homework is, Draw any four irregular shape as shown here. Any four irregular shapes. Take a thread, find the boundary. Got my point? Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you have to do? You have to draw yes, any four shapes. Any four shapes which are not lines. Yes, any four yes, shapes. Find the perimeter of the four shapes. Now ask your doubts. No doubts, sir. No, no doubt. Yeah. So no that doubt, is the homework sir. now. 
That is the whole of this class. Sir, we have to be brothers. Huh? Now, we are going to write this. Not now. I am going to send this. You can write. You can draw the shape in your notebook of your choice. You can draw any four shapes. Not no need to be these four shapes. If you have the facility of taking print out, take the print out, paste, and do it. If not, you can draw any four shapes of your choice. You can draw any four shapes of your choice. Okay. Okay, sir. You will send oh. PDF. Ah, I am going to send the PDF. I will send the PDF after the class. Sir, in this okay, send the PDF. Will you send this also? This also I will send. Will you send the PDF? I will send the PDF on this also. Don't ask the same questions. I will send the PDF what I taught now along with the four diagrams homework. You can draw the four, do it, or you can draw any shape of your choice and do it. Okay.